7.1. What they're asking you to do is simplify the following expressions. So look from here is basically, I'm going to do part 2. 8xy divided by 4x. Now, what happens is, on dividing, this can, be re, this can be presented as like this. It can also be presented as 8xy divided by 4x. Now, what we do is, we basically x divided by x will cancel off 4, 4 and 8 goes twice and the answer we're left with is 2y 2 multiplied by y that's how we do it is right, I'll do another one uh, we'll, this time we'll try number part 5 okay now part 5 has 8x squared y that's the same thing as 8xxy divided by yeah, 4xy now what happens is the y's cancel the x's cancel and 8x divided by 4 is 2x ok ok guys next one so next one here is going to be part 8 28 AB squared divided by 7AB. Now, what's B squared divided by B, anybody? BB divided by B is B. Okay. A divided by A. They cancel. 28 divided by 7. So the answer is 4B. Is that right? Grant. Let's try another one. Simplify the following expressions. Uh, I'll do number two. Well, what we to do is it wants me to multiply out a fraction. When you multiplied fractions in first year, what you'd get is something like this. You'd actually get three multiplied by one, three, four multiplied by two, eight. Three over eight. Top by top, bottom by bottom. This is no difference. Okay. Always arrange in alphabetical order if you can. 2 K M N. It doesn't mean it's 2 multiplied by K multiplied by M multiplied by N. The bottom is going to be 4 M N. Now what happens? The N's will cancel. Multiply by N on the top, divide by N on the bottom, they cancel. The M's will cancel. 2 divided by 4? Anybody? A half. So what's the answer? The answer is a half K. Let's try another one. K. Okay, next one is 2AB multiplied by 6A divided by 3A. Now, multiply it out, we're going to get 12. How many A's do we have? 3. Uh, well, on the top, 2 A's, which is A squared when you multiply them. B divided by 3A. Why don't we divide A into A squared? A. 3 into 12? 4. The answer is 4AB. Okay. Let's try another one. A division one. 2 part 7. Now, if you, oh sorry, 2 part 7, yeah. If you remember at junior cert when I would say something like this 2 thirds divided by 7 over 3. How would you do that? You'd turn the second fraction upside down and you'd multiply it. And the answer would be 2 over 7. Yeah? Everybody remember that? Okay. Now, question 6, 2 part 7 is no difference. Turn the second fraction upside down. So we're going to get 3ab squared over 2 multiply by 6 over ab. Multiply them quickly. We get 18ab squared 
6 times 3 is 18. Just multiply the 6 by the 3 and we get 2AB on the bottom. The A's cancel. This B cancels with the squared because it's meant to be BB over B. 2 of the B's cancel, even B remaining. What's uh, 18 divided by 2? 9. So the answer is 9 B. What we're going to do now is number, uh, number 6, okay? 3x over 5 plus 2x over 3. What I'll always do is I'll take the, the biggest fract, the biggest denominator. The no denominators are the numbers that are on the bottom. I have a choice between 5 and 3. I'll take 5. I'll count up in 5s until a number will divide by 3. Which one of these will divide by 3? 15. This means I want to change both of them into 15s. To change them into 15, if I multiply a fraction, okay, if I have a regular fraction, if I multiply the top and bottom number by the same number, it doesn't matter. So for example, I'm going to multiply the top by 5 and the bottom by 5. What will I get? 5 over. Is 5 over 10 still a half? So I'm going to do the same principle here. What does it take to change 5 into 15? So I multiply the top and bottom by 3. What does it take to turn 3 into 15? Multiply the top and bottom by 5. And what do we get? 9x over 15. What about here? 10x over 15. Now what's 9 over 15 plus 10 over 15? 19 over 15x is the answer for that one. Okay? We'll try another one. Okay, we'll try another one. Not at the bottom. You don't add the bottom. Uh, what's a half a pizza plus a half a pizza? It's not a quarter. Okay. Now, let's try number nine. Okay. 7x over 5 minus x over 2. Start with the biggest number and count up. 5. Does 2 divide into 5? No. It's 2 divided into 10. Yeah, change them. 5 multiplied by 2, 7 multiplied by 2. Uh, x multiplied by 5, 2 multiplied by 5. And what we get is 14x over 5 minus, oh sorry, over 10, excuse me. 14x over 10 minus 5x over 10. What's the answer? 9x over 10. Okay, handy enough, right? Next one's a bit more tricky. So, with the likes of number 19, here's what we're going to do. We look at the biggest number. The biggest number is number 6, right? Yeah. You count up in sixes. Six, twelve. Is four divisible into any of them? Yeah. It divides into twelve. How do we change six into twelve? By two, right? Multiply the top and bottom by two. How do you change four into twelve? Three times. Multiply the top and bottom by three. So what we're going to get here is this. We're going to get 4x minus 2. Do you understand? 2x by 2 minus 1 by 2. Multiply these and we get 3x minus 9. What fraction are they both over? They're both over the number 12. Put so 12 on the bottom. Now, 4x plus 3x. 7x. Is that right, Oscar? 7x. Minus 2 minus 9? Minus 11. All over? 12. Are you happy enough with those ones? 
Hi right, guys, the next one, number 20. Actually, not the real number 20 for you, I'm gonna make up my own one, okay? This is my own question. And my own question will be very similar to number 20, but not the same. Okay. Have to take away the two of these, okay? Now, I use the bigger number. The bigger number is five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Which one of these is divisible by four? Twenty. How do I turn five into twenty? I'll deploy the top and bottom by four. How do I turn a set four into twenty? So I'm going to play the top and bottom by five. Now, let's go around and keep that there. Now, what's going to be the fraction over 20? What's 7x times 5? 35x. Minus 2 times 5? Minus 10. Okay. Now, here's the tricky part. See the way there's a minus here? Yeah? Yeah? I'm going to ask you a question here. Minus 3 multiplied by 2, what's the answer for that? Minus, oh, plus 5, isn't it? No, multiply minus 6. If I bring the 2 in front, does it matter? What's minus 2 multiplied by 3? So it doesn't matter how I move it around, right? Can anybody tell me what I'm going to do with the 4? I'm going to transfer the 4 over here and what this will do is it will stop us making easy mistakes okay what's minus 4 times x what's minus 4 times 3 minus 3 plus 12 that's the most common mistake you're going to make if you don't get plus 12 a lot of people get minus 12 All right 35x minus 4x anyway 21x minus 10 plus 12 all over 20 okay not too bad number 21 right 2x minus 3 over 2 plus x minus 1 all over 4 minus 5 6 now what I need you to do in this question is we pick the biggest number what's the biggest number Go up in sixes until two and four have a number that they'll divide into. Will four divide into six? No. Will it divide into twelve? Change them all into twelves. How do we change them into twelves? This one by? The next one by? And the last one by? Two. Let's see what happens. Now, we're going to need a really big line this time. Okay, let's see what happens. What's the number on the bottom? 12. Okay, let's figure this out. 6 times 2x? 6 times 2x? 12x. Minus 3 times minus 6? Minus 18. 3 times x? 3 times minus 1? Minus 4 times 2. Alright, 12x plus 3x. Anyway, 15x. Minus 18 minus 3. Minus 21 minus 10. All over. 12.